you know, some of the shit that, you know, please call me to the door, raiding the house yeah. and all them things. The passion is just so overwhelming mm. that anything that's in your way mm. is not going to stop you from doing what you want to do. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live in effect. And when I say live, clicking on right here, we are in front of you behind this awesomeness. And to <laughs> my left, your right, DWC FKS, the Don. Legend in the game, Birmingham stand-up, the mighty Zuki. Oh, I'm humbled. Get <laughs> that mic up. Let's see the. Vo- this is the first time my guy's been on this thing. Wow. How are you, brother? I'm good. I'm a little cold, man, but I'm, I'm glad that we, we're getting this thing on. I know. You know, and I was just as we was about to set it off. By the way, a big shout out to GraffitiKings.co.uk each and every time. Uh, we were talking just before we came on. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's cold. But we only do this once, and when we do it, we do it right. I've got enough people that are checking out this show that need to know about the Zuki man. We are in some dangerous locations right here. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> What's been going on? What's been happening? Um, not much, really. Just um, just in a lockdown. <laughs> um, just grafting. Grafting and, yeah. you know... Yeah. Just do my, my thing. Yeah, yeah. I get word. The word on the street is you are like, you're painting every weekend still. Like it was I just... I wish. Like, really? I'm getting yeah. word. People saying, yo, he's still busy, he's still doing stuff. No, I, I wish to God I, I could, but just through commitments, yeah. can't always do. Yeah. I like to say once a week. Yeah. In the summer, summertime, it's yeah. lovely, yeah? yeah? Get out there. Yeah. Drop a nice piece. But um, in the winter times you know, yeah. staying. This year, so far, I've dropped yeah. two pieces. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a little momentum going. Yeah. For the year ahead. Yeah. Keeps you young. You know, for those of you who don't know about Azuki, like, he, he's one of the original pioneers, the, the, one of the many contributors that created not only this location we're in. Back in the day, yeah. it was down to Newzo, I think, and Tempo. Yeah. They first started dropping pieces yeah. all around here. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it really kicked up. Like a lot of other writers, we all started coming down here as well and just start claiming streets basically yeah. one by one. And it goes, it's about a mile square all the way around. So it's all square and every wall covered, huh? We've got a main Stratford Road there. Yeah. See that very building? Yes, yes. It goes on all over there as well. Oh. And then into the city centre. But the the idea of graph in the city, the, the, the Birmingham style, the look, we need to take it back. We need to go back from source and where okay. it began for you. Okay, bro. <clears throat> I started graph about 86. Mm. 85, I was kind of getting here. turned on to hip hop. Yeah. And um, just finding my part in the whole thing. Yeah. I couldn't break. Yeah. I didn't have the clothes. Yeah. Didn't have the equipment really to to um, do DJing and stuff like that, yeah. which I absolutely love now. Yeah. But I was always artistic, so yeah. graph was the one for me. So yeah. I started properly about '86. Yeah. Um, where I lived in Sparkbrook, they had the writers' bench there. Yeah. Where United Bad Art and all city art would meet they were like gods to me back gods, then gods yeah yeah they and still are man yeah the most humblest guys you'll ever meet in your life it's true style masters yeah and then across the road you had Walford Road and the Waldorf Picture House where yeah. the style kings used to meet up and that they, they were like some of my, my, my oldest and lifetime friends Still to this day? Still to this day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Zed. Zed's in TWC now. Me and Zed joined TWC at the same time. He he proper schooled me. You know, uh, before the time when I met them, I didn't I didn't even know what Subway Art was. Yeah. 
you know. That's I, crazy. I've seen bits of graph on like equalizer and stuff like that, and you you know, yeah. you turned on to stuff like that. But they kind of schooled me on stuff, the do's and don'ts of graph. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, you know, in the best days. Yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> I knew that question, yeah. I mean, we, we were so young. When I look back, when I look back at us uh, back in them days, I mean, you must have felt this as well. I mean, the, with the rise of like hip hop, all of us kids, we felt part of something that was real. Yeah. I mean, everyone yeah. was against graffiti writers. Yeah. Nobody really had time for us. Yeah. But like, for me personally, and for a lot of us, it was almost like a fight. We're not, we're not going to go down. We're going to mm. keep painting. Mm -hmm. And today, it's it's social accepted in a lot of places. In a lot of ways. Yeah, big time. Even by the even by the people that you know the, the organisations that were trying exactly, to shut it brother. down. Yeah, man, it's true. We didn't have a tube tube system <laughs> in Birmingham. If it did, it would have got battered. battered yeah, I bet. But we had we had buses and a lot of lot of um, subways and shit. There was pieces on the sides of buses. There was tags inside and out. We used to do a thing called surfing, where you'd jack the back, yeah. hang out the back, get yourself up. Some of the lads, well, yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd hang out the back on the emergency exit and surf the bus. Oh so then we'd go over God. the, we'd go over the flyovers and crazy shit. I mean, that's it's some dangerous. some lethal shit, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, that's uh, uh, tape, one of the tape uh, BBB born bad bombers. We had a party the one time on a bus, and um, we got sand out of the traffic cones and threw it all over the place, <laughs> drinking and, and smoking. Yeah. And tape, bless him, he got out the bus, jack the back, got out the bus and got up on the top of the bus while it was moving. What? Yeah. what, what surfing the top of it? Yeah, yeah. He was an absolute legend. One of the most up bombers in the place. I mean, back then it was all, for us, it, it was more about bombing. Mm. Bombing. More and more and more kind of attitude. Yes. Daytime, it was like, you know, you get up early, you go and rack up your paint. Mm. But then half six, you meet up at the writer's bench. Mm. You're going out bumming, but then you're going to get some drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, this Party is a far time. cry from the Zuki lifestyle he has now. But Birmingham was uh, so on fire. I mean, like, like um, on our side of town, south side, you had um, the bad lads, TBL, yeah. Sneak, Chaos, Side. You know, you had... SFX, uh -huh. um, you had Meth and Endeavour, Double Zero Boys on the other side. Mm. I mean, on the, the back thing where it was mad how Southside was developed because we were just writers mm. and for a lot of the taxes back in the day, we mm. were an easy score for them. Yeah, I bet. Because we'd go out racking yeah. and they'd know exactly who to come to. So we'd get wrapped oh. up. We get, we'd get. Sometimes you get our things taken off us, and when a big man's coming up to you and taking your things, there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. You just fear. Sometimes you, they'll be following us. So what happened? We made a big crew. Yeah. It was called Southside Mafia. Yeah. Mm. And Goldie, Goldie put, he, you know, Goldie on. kind of put this, he put it to us. He says, "Look, man, you know, you need to protect. You need to protect yourself, boys." Right, yeah. get yourselves all together so we became, we got so united, yeah. it was unreal. Really? And wow. then it was a whole different thing. Then you had like East Coast on the other side, mm -hmm. another big crew. Well, it was, it was heavy times, 87 was, was ballistic. It sounds like you all kind of galvanized and it suddenly come to the Yeah, come with the, some, the same taxes and stuff that used to tax us back mm -hmm. in the day, they joined Southside. Really? So yeah, it became yeah, yeah. a unification It became day. massive. It was just too big. And it was funny, I could, I could see at the time, about because after we got raided and stuff, the crew was just massive. We were still bombing and stuff. Yeah. But with, the, with everyone else coming in, all the, the earners and stuff, mm. it weren't a graph crew almost anymore. Mm. And a few of us saw that. And we kind of just done our own thing. Really? So we had like mm. WLS, the Wardlords. That was just a brilliant crew. Um, 
and about the same time, I joined TWC with Zed and Des. Which, which, I mean, this is when my recollection kicks in, only from an observer and a young one at that, yeah. doing my research, <clears throat> going back into archives and shit. Mm. Um, you, I mean, your the levels in which you've, like, even before then, talking about all of this stuff. This was like honing your craft and developing. Definitely. At, at a time where there wasn't really, you were creating the, 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 the template. We all was, we, we all was back in the day, you know, um, it was just all fun. Mm. And, you know, like Goldie and Martin Jones bringing Tats crew over yeah. in the early 80s was a massive deal for all the writers in Birmingham. Yeah. Um, you know, that, they became almost like family to us. Yeah, changed and they the game. S- totally, brother. Totally. And I don't know, it's like, we, hold on, we're part of something here that's, mm-hmm. that's real. You know. It brought the world together. Yes, man. Mm-hmm. Hip hop. Long mm-hmm. live. Long live hip hop, yes. man. <laughs> Come on. You know, this is my favorite yeah. podcast because we get into the intrinsics and. I don't know. I'm one of those people that I, if I if I'm in something, I want to mm. know the I want to know what inspires my peers. What yeah. what what was their inspirations? Mm. You know what I mean? And that if you don't have the DNA, then there really isn't. A, there's you kind of you fall at the hurdle of pro- progression. Don't you, you definitely got to have the passion. Yeah. You definitely got to have that will, mm. like to you know create. Yeah. You know. Um, I was into athletics in a big way when I was 15, mm. 16, and I was in the TA. I was ready to join For the real? army. You ready no to job. jump in? Yeah, man, I was there. I was in the TA from 14 to 16. And then as soon as graph come, that was it. Changed everything. That everything, was it. yeah. See you later. Bedroom bummed. Front door bummed. Getting licks off the old man. <laughs> Really? Bombed. Yeah. yeah, man, you, you do. You should be bombing up the house. <laughs> did your parents, did they literally fucking, did they not understand? They didn't get it at all? No, no, no. You, you, they, um, they understood. They always knew I was like a creative, yeah. you know. So they got the, the mission brief. They knew that yeah. this was a new culture. Yeah, it was, never, it was never no leaks about graffiti. It right. was, you know, why don't you do something a bit more creative right. in your life? Get a decent job. Mm. But that, oh, this is what I want to do. You know, and it kind of, okay then, do you think? That's cool. Yeah. Particularly for that time when, you know, the, the world as a whole. Yeah. 80s becoming this this ever-changing, it, it had such a transformation from yeah. like the late 70s across. And yeah. I guess this was part of that journey and you mm. know, you've got to embrace it. Yeah, definitely. Especially being black as well. Yeah. Because... The police that back in them days was not joking. Yeah, I know, I appreciate that. And they that. would rough us all up. That's right, no, I've heard so many stories of, yeah. of those days. Cough Garden as well. Terrible. Terrible. Just yeah. fucking profiling Vile. people, getting on them. Yeah. yeah, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. come a long way, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, we've, we, we've come a long way. The tagging, yeah. because again, like, you know, your, your style, uh, hello. By the way, if you're not watching, uh, you know, you're listening, we are in a, in, in a bit of a kind of Birmingham mecca here. It's, it's a long-standing Hall of Fame and, and pretty trendy area, if I do say so myself, uh, that, that cool, was founded man. by yourselves and, and Temper. But, to, be, to be fair, you know, you see Dig Buff. Yeah. I think it was, you had Nuzo and Tempo. They first started lighting up this, 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 this area. Right, OK. And then slowly but surely... It's just expanded. Build, build, build. Yeah, it's really dope. Now you've got like gents, pengs, cruts. Yeah. Hold tight, Crut, cruts it, is inside the place. He's over there. Yes, brother. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> yeah, and these are, these have become like the new, you know, the new fathers of graffiti. But, in but just going back to what I was coming to when I, when I went into this tangent, um, your style is so identified. Thank you. Like it's mad. Like you've. And the evolution of that. Thanks, man. It means a lot, man. Oh, mate, it, it blows my mind when you look at... I don't know whether it was your decision or it was something that was just natural in you, but your your look, I, I've i never seen it replicated. It was the music. Music? Music is, you know, it's always been hip-hop. In um, 
about 89. Yeah. No, eight, I think it was 88, 87, 88. Yeah. We got hold of an, an old DJ run, Hammersmith Arena tape. And that was like the first kind of taste of rave culture that we, we got. DJ run all day. Big up, man. Enough love and respect, brother. Pioneer. Mm. And um, we, we would make cuts of this tape and... You know, we just... Till it burnt out and it was <laughs> yeah. all air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I still got that tape still. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'd like to kind of moved into drum and bass, going, going to raves. And the music, for me personally, had a massive... Mm. Insp um, inspira inspired me. Mm. So, I had... Because it was... I, I did actually stop graph... For a couple of years, I did. No, I get you. I was still outlining, but yeah. I was too busy having a good time with my mates. We were going raving. Mm -hmm. And I'd always intend to drop a piece. Yeah. But oh, I'm going to rave, man. <laughs> I'm going to rave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got things to do, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but um, when, when I did get back on it, and it was through Corsa got me back into my graph again. Corsa. Okay. Yeah, man. Corsa, another name that just is... King Dapper Don. Don, yeah. Dapper, Don. Much love and respect to you, my brother. My guy, my guy. Yeah, um, he, he was prolific, man, at that time. At 90, 93, I think. 93. Beast in it. Yeah, absolutely. Everywhere. Because then, I think, not, no one was really doing graph in Birmingham. It mm. really mm. died down. We was all off raving or mm. getting into relationships and working or whatever. Settling down and that, yeah. Exactly. And then um, you had Colt. Perry, mm -hmm. TM, Transit Massacre, they were the only ones smashing the life out of it. And Corsa. Corsa has an attitude to his shit that... Oh, uh, man. It's, it's, it's bigger Real. than the graph. It's, it's, yeah. it's something else, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He's, um, what can I say, man? He's, he's inspired me in so many ways. He's a, I love him dearly. Yeah, yeah. You know, I tell you actually, while we're on the subject of the rave thing, like the yeah. rave flyers back in the day. Now, when you talk about your style and its influences, I'm not, su I'm not suggesting it's in totally direct, but actually, yeah, there was, there's definitely an outside source. Thank you, man. Coming in from from somewhere that isn't entirely hip hop, like it yeah. looks kind of Japanese almost. It's like on some, some of other that, shit. that crazy shit I used to do <laughs> back in '95. <laughs> After course, course got me back out painting. And T Bone. Yeah. My paintings then was like really influenced by the rave culture. Mm. So I was doing some crazy shit about that time. Yeah. Some real crazy stuff. The Sometimes, colorways as well, the colors you were using. Yeah. The, just the choices of, you know, I get you. Yeah, the big pieces, man. Yeah. And um, uh, sometimes I'd, I'd be painting for eight hours, sometimes I'd be. Do, taking two days to do a piece. Yeah. I mean, people say wow. to me, look, man, why don't you drop some of that st uh, stuff again? I just can't be asked to do the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I will do, though. I will go back. If God, ble if God blesses us, yeah. I'll you know, go back and revisit some of them styles. Yeah. Definitely, for real. They were great days, man. When um, I first hooked up with Corsa and T-Bone mm -hmm. and Krem, early FKS mm -hmm. days. And... Um, the F, I, can't, I can't praise FKS highly enough, man, because they just held me in the crew with open arms, mm. you know, and every single one of them was a stole master. Um, they must have been losing their shit that you, you were in, that, you know, and back on it. Yeah. You know, back on the grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for real. For real, man. They must have felt like, yeah, we're on top of the world. We've got... We've I got... felt old. <laughs> I was only 21. <laughs> a bit of a midlife crisis throughout it. <laughs> uh, get them midnight life crises in early. That's what I'm saying. Get them in early, That's man. true. That's true. <laughs> then the rest of your life, you're all right. That was true. I tell you what, move a little bit here. Of course, my man. I just want to make sure, because we ain't losing this to the ghetto no. rig. Hold tight. No. But so, them times in the early 90s, mm. um, it was back racking. Really? Yeah, really we back in it. Back in it, bro. I was totally back immersed in it, mate. And really? I don't want to name drop too much, but... We can pick them up later. Yes, definitely, <laughs> my man. But, um, we, no, we, no, don't. Don't do it. Everything was there for us, man. We, um, we was having the best times at all-nighters, just hitting 
uh, layups and track size and just everything was bombing and yeah. it was a very serious thing man really? and, you know we was just developing it was all about just trying to keep our, our shit as tight as possible man mm. you know and moving forward as a unit and to this day we still do yeah. I mean we don't see each other mm. as much and as often as we would like to yeah. but when it, whenever we do when we do them do a piece bad Murder. yeah it's serious it's good do you ever see, because Corsa, he's, you know, as an example, yeah. he's super fierce and active on it. Yeah. Do you ever get those, because obviously, you know, life happens, shit happens. And yes. Measuring it up against what you did in the 80s and, you know, the, the 90s and looking at it now and what reality, where reality mm. lies, do you ever feel, to, man, does it make you itch? Does it make you, or does it make you think, well... It wasn't like that in the 80s. Mm. So I know this feeling I'm going through and perhaps it was just over time and I'm not... It doesn't infuse me. I hear you, brother. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's that the passion was is just so overwhelming mm. that anything that's in your way mm. is not going to stop you from doing what you want to do. Mm. I mean, I have to admit, like, you know, I had to hold back a little bit because... You know, some of the shit that, you know, please call me to the door, raiding the house and all them things. I didn't want that shit to happen again. Mm. But when looking back at it now, I've probably done more bombing then in the 90s. Because T-Bone and and Core and Krem and me, we would would go off and do chromas on the road and all kinds of things. That kind of thing. So the 90s got crazy? Yeah, the 90s was mad. Mad fire. Like... 80s we was bombing. We yeah. was really, really bombing. We used to do PC. Sunday was a peace day, and you'd drop dubs here, mm. there, and everywhere, mm. always. But until I hooked up with Core and T-Bone and them, we would do roadsides with chromas. That was a whole different thing. Mad. But yeah. the, the feeling that it gave you, you're like, yo, let's meet up tomorrow again, and we're doing it again. <laughs> Once you get... Once you pop. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. You never stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro, man. You heard it here first, baby. <laughs> it's true. Word up. Yeah. It doesn't change, neither does it. It's like, like no. from what I understand, it's an infectious... Graph just keeps going forward. Yeah. You know, it, it, it just it's straight ahead. Mm. Does it kind of... That, obviously, being so immersed in the culture for so long, like... And knowing that that doesn't ever change, mm. that must be. You must see a lot of these writers now, and you just you know exactly what they're going through, and you know exactly where their heads are. Yeah, that must be, you must feel pretty proud to have been such a huge part of the scene. Yeah, I'm, and see what's developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not a re- real proud person. Yeah, I, I just like to hold things down, but yeah. you know sometimes. I recollect and I think back and I go to myself like, what's it like for them guys? They've they've got they've got like an older figure there, mm. you know, and it's always good to to be courteous and kind to people. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're all graffiti artists. Mm. So you just just be straight up and mm. good with each other mm. and Keep things positive, mm. and then we'll all just go together. You, you know? know, you know it's interesting. I, I don't want to stop you too soon on your. No Because I agree with you, but I, I also feel like just to add value to what you're coming, where you come from. That everyone I've spoken to, from the preparation and coming up to the execution, the conversations I've been having with other people, um, you're you're a contender. They don't see any like they they talk about and I've, they don't always do this in London but they talk, there's no generational gap here and it's, it's actually really interesting you say that because they you're, you're a forerunner you're, you're with you're up against you're with the pangs causes the cruts that, that yeah. it's almost like you've never stopped and that's really interesting dynamic that yeah well you know I've got my mentors yeah. like all the writers from New York I mean they, mm. some of them got 20 years on me mm. They still painting and then having seen the... nothing different, yeah. No, it's just it's a beautiful thing, man. Mm, mm, it's great. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, people from all walks of life, 
or different countries. Mm. You don't need to, why stop something that you enjoy doing? For real. You real know? talk. Yeah. Um, um, listen, is, if, the, if that passion ever left, I'll be the first one to stop. Yeah. But that, that ain't going nowhere. No. I, I, I love that. You know, if I was happy with what I was doing, constantly had everything totally locked off, I probably would have stopped years ago. You just would have, yeah. You, and people would have seen it. They would have seen that it yeah. wasn't, there wasn't the but, energy there. But to be fair, like, to me, I think graffiti is a wild style, is about... Yeah. Evolving and pushing it as far as you can go, take it. Yeah. You know. Mm. I mean. I mean, you know, it, graffiti will never stop. It will never die, man. It can't. Exactly. It can't. I don't know. I don't know what. And just to be part of that, just you one in amongst mm. the many, mm. is a beautiful feeling. Mm. I think it's great what we've all created. I, I'm a, I'm a gasp like. If you weren't to see anything to do with any other scene in the, in the country, yeah. and you were to come straight to Birmingham, yeah, yo, people, you know, them aliens that come and discover this place are just be like, oh, that's graffiti. Yes. I genuinely believe that. I agree. There is no... <laughs> the, the style of it, every aspect of graph and street art is right here. And I've, Thank you, I've man. I've never seen it so vibrant. I, you know, I came back, I came here on my first... Beatbox gigs so long ago. Mm. But, you know, this has changed. Thank you, you've, man. You've been a huge, huge inspiration to all of this. With the, the whole of the UK. Yeah. Uh, uh, all, all of us together. I mean, like, now, like, in my older years, mm. Sarah, my love, my yeah. wife. Yeah. We love to... Hold tight, Come my on. baby. Love you. There you go. Um, we, 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 we like nothing better than just going to places like London, meeting some of our friends, yeah. checking out the graph and everything. That, you know, even when we're going to, on holiday places, we, it's always about graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it, man. <laughs> we love it. Yeah, yeah. She's done so much for me, man. Yeah, Honest to God, when we, got, when we got together, like, you know, oh, I wouldn't be in, being standing here with you interviewing if it wasn't for her. Really? Like, wow. I owe her so much, man. Wow. I love her, man. That's Love what that. I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, man, for real. It's good when you find a good woman, solid, yeah. that, that supports you. I got one, you know? Yeah. And Bless. Yeah, really. Mm. Really bless, isn't it? Yeah, man. Um, when you find a girl that, uh, that allows you to be yourself. Yes. Respects your journey where you've been, mm. where your potential has been and it can be. Mm. You're a force, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. And she is too. Mm, yeah. Definitely. That's the way it should be. Yeah. 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 Anything else you'd like to add to your podcast before we freeze to death, Suki? Uh, just, um, it's been an absolute pleasure um, doing this with you, Killer, man. Yeah, uh, man. Hope to do it again yeah. with you someday. And um, peace and love out there to everyone. That's right. That's right. This is a legend, legend, legacy holder. This is a legend. <laughs> oh, legacy holding in here. What Bless up, brother. Zuki inside the place, Killer Killer podcast, keeping it raw and uncut, all right? We've got the COVID connect here. This is the ghetto <laughs> rig. <laughs> We're trying to keep this look. Let me just turn your pan around, all right? We've got shit going down, baby. <laughs> you think... We're all on this ghetto rig right here. You see what I'm saying? For real, brother. For real. Anyway, we're out like that, all right? You stay lucky, people. All right, Television, get the app. Killer Killer podcast, Zuki. Peace. Peace.